Now, the technician lays up the kitted plies into the upper clamshell and lower clamshell molds. The plies are held in place using a tackifier spray. After a tube bag is applied onto the laminate on the lower clamshell mold, the upper clamshell mold is flipped and lowered into position on the lower clamshell mold. Once in position, the mold halves are bolted together to compress the O-ring. Next, we attach intermediate seal plates. And once secured, the tubular vacuum bag is sealed out to the intermediate seal plates using vacuum tape. Then, we secure pressurization plates to each end of the mold. The pressurization plates allow us to create a reverse autoclave effect in an oven. We are able to apply pressure to the vacuum bag during and after resin infusion to ensure we eliminate voids and fully compact the laminate. After infusion hardware is fastened to the mold and a positive vacuum leak check is performed on the system, the mold is staged onto the infusion stand and plumbed inside the oven. This assembly is performed in reverse order of assembly, and once the clamshell mold is unbolted, the upper mold is lifted away. Next, the composite foil is removed from the lower clamshell mold and is transferred to a hand finishing workstation. Here, the foil is deburred and sanded for part specifications. Now, epoxy foam is poured inside the hollow foil and expands to fill the cavity. A trim and drill fixture is used to drill precise holes. Next, metallic backing plates are bonded onto the foil in three locations, which allow the foil to be attached to the struts at ORPC. The foils are painted with a clear coat epoxy paint to protect them from UV light. The foil was made with a 35% reduction in cost and a 70% reduction in fabrication time.